What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Crypto3 on December 10th, 2017. Basically, I just want to give y'all a quick and dirty tutorial on how to transfer your coins from Coinbase into your wallet. Oh. Bing. Anywho, let's get started. So, uh, first thing y'all gonna want to do is well, sign up for a Coinbase account and uh, put some money into whatever coin you want. You know, if you want to get a Bitcoin, put some money in a Bitcoin. If you want to get a Litecoin, put some money in a Litecoin. If you want to get an Ethereum, guess what? You're going to have to put some money into Ethereum. Just a side note, though, if you are paying with a credit card or a debit card, they are going to charge you higher fees, but you'll be able to get that coin instantly. With that said, if you're going to do a bank transfer, you're going to get charged much lower fees, but it's going to take a lot longer to get that coin. So here we go. So say I had a Bitcoin and I wanted to put it in an Exodus wallet, okay, which is a wallet that can go on your, your Windows uh, computer or it can go actually on a Mac too. And it actually holds a couple of different altcoins, so a lot of people like it, and it's it's, it's pretty, you know. Me, I, I personally don't have no opinion on it, you know. But hey, it's whatever. First thing you're gonna do, this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be the dashboard right here. This is what you're gonna see when you first log in here, okay? It's gonna give you a little information, you know. Huh? But you don't really want to be concerned about that right now. What you want to do is you want to go to accounts, bam, okay. Oh, look, I got a dollar and 14 cents of Bitcoin in there. OK, now what you're going to do is if I wanted to transfer this Bitcoin into my Exodus wallet, what I would do is I would open up Exodus like this. Bam. OK, once Exodus is open, we're going to go ahead and then we're going to go to wallet. Oh, what do you know? We're already on Bitcoin. But as you can see, they have a couple other ones like Ethereum, you know, Civic, Dash, whatever. But we're, since we're talking, since we're talking about Bitcoin, let's go to Bitcoin, and we want to receive money into this wallet. So let's click on receive. This is going to be the address, okay? The address to tell Coinbase where to send that money. So you can either click on here or you can copy it. You know, copy it the hard way. Uh, hit Control C. Uh, but I'd rather just click this Boom. address copy to clipboard okay I'm gonna go ahead and close this out go back to your coin base back. and then we're gonna go to send so you're gonna hit this little send button Bloop. all right because whenever you want to you know take money from one place to the other you have to go to the source of the money first and then kind of you know push it out of there so what you're going to do is that address that we copied we're going to go ahead and paste it in here bada bing bada boom so say you had like a full bitcoins as you can see a dollar is not going to be enough to transfer but say i had you know a dollar's worth of bitcoin i would put sorry i would put one dollar if I could transfer that, but I can't. And it's gonna tell you how much Bitcoin that is. You can write an option, optional message. Um, you know, I usually don't do that. And it, right down here, it's gonna tell you the network fee, you know, how much it's gonna to cost to make that transaction. And it's gonna also give you your total. After that, you're gonna hit continue. Boom. It's pretty much that easy, you know? And then you're gonna to have to wait a little bit of time depending on how busy the network is or whatnot. But then you'll notice once you go back to your portfolio in Exodus, boom, it's actually gonna show that Bitcoin right in here. But like I said, sometimes it could take up, you know, it can take up to two hours. I've, I've had transactions take up to two hours before, but then I've also had transactions that took less than five minutes. So it, it just depends on the day and how many people are using the network. But, um. That's pretty much it, man. I know a lot of people want to acquire Bitcoins at this 
crazy time in cryptocurrency. So I just kind of want to do a quick video and just showing people how to take those coins and put them in a the wallet because a lot of people are just going to take these coins and sit on them for a while and continue to let the value grow. So um, as with always, uh, this is not financial advice. You know, I'm just a I'm just a guy, man. I'm just a guy on a computer. But I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely day, man. Peace out.